What's good everyone? Fat Robert, the fattest Robert there is here, coming to you live from my hub on the KFC TCG Auctions page. A big thank you to Stephen Medhurst for pulling me out of retirement for this one because he's been hammering me about posting some pack openings on the channel because I haven't for some time. Here it is. Today we are going to be opening one, two, three boxes of Pokemon Celebrations elite trainer boxes. This set is fantastic. It is going to be hard to get over time. We are looking forward to it. Now, in case you want some nostalgia, cue the crappy intro from before. So we're going to jump straight into it. This Pokemon Celebration set is the 25th anniversary box to commemorate the game the show, everything Pokemon. We've got our sleeves in here. These come in these. I'm gonna show you before I get cracking into the packs exactly what you get in this set. So you'll crack open your ETB. You've got the cards that come in the set and a little bit about them, where they originally came from, because a lot of these are reprints. There is a 25 card set in here, but then you also have your classic card subsets, your Mewtwo, Lele, Ray, Charizard, Luxray. And then you've also got the full art Pikachu, which so many people have been getting a lot of. So it's not, it's actually quite common. You can find that you get like at least one or two of them even per ETB, which is pretty crazy. So we're gonna jump straight into it. You get 14 packs in this, which is huge, huge value. And the promo is also fantastic. Chuck the rubbish there. We've got a Greninja promo. And let's have a quick look. Is it got a swell? No, it does not. That's Fine. My good friend Seb was telling me about these, that just like the old Gold Star promos, you can actually get Swirlies, which is a type of misprint, it adds uniqueness to the card, and it will inherently make it more valuable than the regular one you get there. So we've got our 14 packs here, we have our 9 celebrations, is that them, there's the other one, and then you also get 2 Darkness to Blaze, a Battle Styles, Chilling Reigns of Vivid Voltage. So 14 packs in a $100 ETB, 90, 80, depending on where you get them from. So I like to order these in my ranking of how I like them. So I open the worst pack first, which of course is Battle Stars. And let's see how we go with this. Uh, yeah, so if you've, if you've watched any of the old content on this channel, you will see that it is mainly Yu-Gi-Oh! pack openings. I'm kind of shifting over to Pokemon. I find it a funner set to open up. You get so much more in a pack. You know, there's, there's so much value. There's so much more fun. And I, I like that it's not exactly a set amount of cards that you get per box. Like in Yu-Gi-Oh! for us, you'd be getting two secrets per box. So you kind of know the fixated ratios. And once you hit it, you know if it's bad or if it's good. You know, you can hit your second secret, you know, 12 packs in, and then you just know that the rest of the 12 won't be that great, unless you maybe get a Starlight. But the thing with Pokemon is, you never know, and I think that's pretty tasty, because sometimes you could open a not-so-great product, but then sometimes you open an absolutely bonkers set, and it's just fantastic. Like, I've gotten, even in Evolving Skies, I got two alt arts in one box once, which I thought was absolutely wild. And I'll stick to the system, even though I didn't on that last pack, since it's the Vivid Voltage. And now we're gonna do the Darkness of Blaze. I don't wanna rush these, and I need to open them a bit better for the camera. So we go one, two, three, four, stick them to the front. And then the Hollow or Better is at the end. Still getting used to this. We've got a Hoopa Hollow there. And the last part of Darkness of Blaze. Really need to open it on the right side. That's all right. The commons don't particularly do much. And we've got here a hollow agron. So, just for the people at home. For the lovely people at home. These are your codes. Please use them. I do not play the online game. I want you guys to enjoy those packs. So anyone who plays those, please. And if you if you did get good use out of them, please be sure to just give us a quick like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video as well. All right, first pack. And we can already see something in there. Kyogre. That is the, exactly what I wanted. 
I've been waiting. This is the last card I don't have is the Charizard and the Blastoise that I haven't pulled. First pack. First pack we get there. The Charizard right there. Let's have a look at how good that is. Let's see what the Mittness is like. Well centered, a bit fatter at the top than the bottom, but that's just me being a heavy critique. And then you've also got, I guess, it's a bit of an angle on the left. But nonetheless, guys, a Charizard in the first pack. That is absolutely bonkers. We got a Zard in the first pack with a flying Pikachu. I don't even want to open these anymore, but I'm committed now, aren't I? I'm committed, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. But we're going to get some sleeves out and we're going to go straight on with this. Made my day. That was the last card I wanted and I didn't want to buy it. I really, really didn't want to buy it. I'm just worried that at one point people are going to turn around and say, you know, we can only have a base set Zard reprinted that much. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's a base set Zard. It's a base set Zard. It's a base set Zard. Code for anyone at home. Going on to the next pack. And let me know how you guys went in your ETBs. I've seen some really good ones. I've seen some really bad ones. I'm sure this is probably gonna be, this is already above average. So I'm sure that one of these two will also be absolute trash. So we'll see how it go. Palkia, and we hit a Venusaur. Okay. Okay, second pack. We're hitting the Venusaur and there's your code as well. Guys, we're doing good here. We're doing, we're doing all right. Now, for those who aren't aware with how many of these ETBs I've opened so far, I've probably opened like eight. This is my seventh Venusaur. I keep pulling Venusaur. I mean, I'm not complaining. I love the guy, but I mean, look, that is already such a strong start. Strong start. We'll keep this going. Beyond Palkia, Professor's Research. We've got, what's that? Three straight packs with three straight hits. Fantastic hits too. Search is just a beautiful card because you've got OG Professor Oak on it. It's just so nice. Cosmion, Palkia, and a Gardevoir. Guys, you saw me open this box. It was sealed, right? I'm not... I'm not mucking around here. We got the Zacian as well. There's your code. But we've got this, that's what? Five, four from four. I forgot the flying Pikachu came in the same pack as the Zard. Okay. ETB, let, let, let's take a quick break here for a second. Yes, ETB one has been nuts. We had our basic packs, they were whatever. But now we've hit the celebrations packs. Venusaur, Charizard, Professor's Research, God of YAX, the flying Pikachu. We're well above value back, and not just for the one ETB, but probably for all three. This is bonkers. This is actually insane. I'm really glad that I decided to record this. Medhurst, you're welcome, all right? Actually, I shouldn't say you're welcome. Thank you. All right, keep this going. I need not to get that clear. There we are. We've got something in here as well. Beltalt, Zekrom, and a Lele. This is, this is nuts. I haven't, we've had a hit in every pack now. In every pack, there has been something in this ETB. And it's simply unlucky, I'm channeling you right now. I'm, ch I'm channeling your godly luck. Thank you. This is, <laughs> this is wild. I, I have not opened one of these at all. This is absolutely wild, having an ETB this good. Next pack. Hello, Lugia Professor's Research. We can't win them all, guys. We can't. We know there's going to have to be a couple of those. In fact, probably all going to be that from here on out. But, you know, you never know. You, you just never know. again. Dialga, Xerneas, and a Lunala. I can't pronounce that one. Next pack. Yoga, and then we've got the Pikachu. I haven't pulled one of these either. So I hadn't pulled a Pikachu, a Charizard, or the Gardevoir. This has been fantastic. And that's, again, such a nice card. And a well-deserved reprint, a Japanese reprint. Uh, really appreciated by the fans. And we've got two more packs, but like, this is just, this is crazy. Oh, yeah, like, the, the next two can't be this good. They actually can't be this good. That's, but we'll see how we go. 
And I think there's something else in here. It's just a Zashi. And oh, it's a Flying Pikachu. We haven't seen any of those in this set, in this box so far. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and guess there's a full art Pikachu in here. And the only reason I'm saying that is because I, I have failed to see an ETB open with that one being pulled. So let's see if we can do that. Code for home. Groudon, Xerneas, Kyogre, Soul Galera. First ETB I've opened without hitting a full art Pikachu. That's pretty wild, but I mean, I'll take it. Look at these gorgeous pulls, guys. Look, look at this stuff. It's gonna say Robbie's Pikachu, Fat Robert's Pikachu. I'm not gonna get out a pen and write it. Maybe a permanent marker on the sleeve, maybe. Maybe we can get Professor's Research who's already drawing on the card to write my name on the Pikachu for me. But the, this is, that is just incredibly above average. Incredibly. The, that is just so wild. I'm over the moon with those pulls. And there's, what else is in here? We've got our, oh, the code for the box as well. Someone please take that one as well. Have a great time with it, please. We're going to go over to number two. Seriously, I don't I don't know how we top this. That is bonkers. Let's let's try it though. Heck, let's let's give it a, let's give it one of those good old shots. Let's see what we can do. I keep bumping this out of excitement. The microphone, the camera. Here's the code for this one so far, everyone. Enjoy. And we get our Greninja. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. No no swell. That's okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. We always take a Greninja, it's such a beautiful gold side. It was so necessary, and I think a lot of people are really, really happy that that one got printed. All right, so as always, we go Darkness of Blaze last and Vivid. So, Battle Stars first, because it's terrible. Don't do that. Someone might use these Battle Stars codes. See how we've gone, and nothing. Chilling Rain. The one Chilling Rain pack has been wild for me. I got a Psychic Secret Energy in one, and a Galarian Articuno Altart in another. Then a friend also pulled the Psychic Secret Energy. I got the VMAX um, Ice Ice Rider as well. It was, the, the one Chilling Rain pack so far has been absolutely nuts every time I've opened it. Uh, except the last set, but that's fine. What do we got in here? Oh, we hit a honey again. Look at the, the, the one chilling rain pack every time. We're hitting, we're hitting something on it. But hey, that counts as in the ETB. So let's line that one up for this box. And now let's try and get the hyper red Chunkachu in a vivid voltage. Let's see if we can do it. I think it's very unlikely, but I mean. It's a beautiful card. It is a beautiful card. And if I don't, I hope you do with that code. All right. Got Mulseri, Ninkana, Whoopa, Winsa, and a Darmanitan VMAX. That is the second one I've pulled, actually, a Hyper Rare. Same one out of a previous ETB. The thing with Vivid Voltage is you see you see that on the side and you're just like, what? What? And then it's just not the chunk of chew, but we'll take it. You know, it's better than nothing. And again, we're not opening the ETB for the Vivid Voltage pack or the Chilling Rains pack. We're opening it for these gorgeous, gorgeous celebration cards. All right, Darkness of Blaze. But hey, if we hit a Charizard in, the, in these Darkness of Blaze packs, I'm not going to be mad. I'm really not. In fact, I'd, I'd be pretty stoked. So. Who knows? Maybe this is the one. Maybe it's the. It's a decidue. It's not. It's not the one. That's okay. And the last darkness of blaze pack. Fire, Flaffy, Diglett, Squobit, Shelmet, Pampo, Teddy Ursa, Dino, and Escablia. All right, so we start the ETB off with a Hyper Rare and a Honey. We've got our Waifu Tax. We've got our Hyper Rare. It's a good start. It's always a good start. 
Let's get into the celebrations. Let's see what they have in store for us here. What have we got behind pack number one? Hokia, Evil Troll, and a Don Fan. Okay, we've hit the uh, we've hit a one on the first pack again here. The Don Fan's nice. It's not the most expensive or sought after card in the set, but it is gorgeous. And it has also been particularly difficult to get. We only, I've only pulled one of these so far. So this is my second. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful card, and I'm going to be keeping those. They just look exquisite. Pack 2. Roltal, Dialga, Zekrom, and Mew. And these Mews... Is so there's a cycle of cards that I guess you could say are common, even though everything's hollow. This Mew is probably the most sought after common, where they're about like three to five bucks each. You know, that like that's that's pretty cool. I've seen them going for about three to five. They've been going for that in the auction house. So it, it's it's a good little it's a good little win grabbing one of those out of these packs. Let's go pack number three. There's your code. We have Potter. Cos Cosmo, Cosmo, Lugia, Lunala. Okay, so another little quiet one, but we're simmering. We're simmering. We're building up to something in here. I can feel it. We've got the Umbreon, maybe. We get the Mew, I love it. Let's see what we can do behind pack number four. We've hit a Team Magma's Groudon and the Zamazenta. Very nice. Another nice hit. I Should I be pulling out my Zacian and Zamazentas? The only reason I'm not is because I've pulled so many of them. And I, I've got them aside here over with me. Like, I'm not sure if I count them as hits. Technically, they're probably going to be just worth just as much as that Mew, right? So, I mean, it depends. Each to their own. Still a very nice card. Yolga, Kyoga, Xerneas, and Mew. Five, five more of these in this box. Let's let them rip. Come on, give me one of those big cards. The Umbreon, I'll take the Mew, I'd love. But even if it's another Charizard, like, man, I'd take that, that's great. Cosmion, Cosmo, why can't I pronounce that? Zenaeus and a Surfing Pikachu VMAX. These ones are beautiful, these nice big textured surfing and flying Pikachus, these full arts, they're so nice. It's a great addition. There's so many different types of Pikachus in this set. And I think honestly, the fact that they're getting overpulled now and they're being, they're not selling for that much, pick up as many as you can. It is a it is a good, good shout just to hold a few because everyone loves Pikachu. I love Pikachu. Don't you love Pikachu? Let me know what you think of Pikachu in the comments. Good. And I think we've got another Pikachu here. Cosmo, Dialga, and there it is. It's another Pikachu. It's another Pikachu. Alright, he's got a brother in the next pack over. So now we've got three packs to go. This one has obviously so far not been as good as the previous one. I think the first ETB is going to prove to be the biggest one out of the three that I've done. Unless, obviously, we get some crazy misprint in here, or like we hit everything in one pack. But you never know with these things, it's just so crazy. Cosmog, and we've got a Garchomp! Level X, beautiful. The Garchomp C Level X, that is a lovely card to look at. I love these silver boardings that they've done here, this, this flat print. They look fantastic, and they absolutely nailed it. We've got it as well over here on Donphan. These cards just, they look great. That's nice, this, bring, this brings up some extra value here. We've got a couple more packs to go. But see, even though this hasn't been as good as the previous one, this is why this set's so great, because you know, you've got, you've got so much value across the board here. You, you take away these two, because they're just random packs, but you know, you're making back at least half your money just on that. And that, that's important, you know? That, that's, a, that's important to a lot of players. And collectors, I should say. Collectors, not the players, but the collectors. 
We do both, don't we? Zanaeus versus Research. Oh, we hit Pikachu deep. Wait a minute. Did, was was this a thing? Guys, what language is this? I think that, is that an error? I, th I think this is an error. Right, I'm gonna need to look into that. I'm gonna need to look into that, but look at that. That's not English. I'm not gonna dox myself, but I can put my last name after it, but <laughs> you all know who I am anyway. But that is a, uh... Is that Italian? God, why am I asking? I should know that. It looks Italian. Yeah, this is... Who, who snuck an Italian Pikachu in my pack? I, I didn't know that was possible. Did I just hit an Italian card in an English pack? That, 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 that's crazy. That, that's absolutely crazy. I'll take that. That's, that's freaking cool. That's actually freaking cool. Like, I, I need to look into it after this. If, if that's a thing, please let me know, guys, because I, I think that's... Is that an error pack or something? I feel like that was an error pack. So we've got last one of the ETB. Wild, that's the story of ETB too. This Italian cup, this Italian Pikachu. Zanes, Dioga, and a Mew. Okay, so number two. Real nice stuff. We've got the Honey and the Darmanitan. We had the Donphan, Groudon, and the Surfing Pikachus. And the Garchomp as well. This Italian Pikachu. It's crazy. would not even funny if they replaced the cake with like some spaghetti or something. You know? Put him in a little Inter Milan jersey. That'd be great. I'd love that. I would not be against that at all. We're going to be looking into that after, after uh, this video is wrapped up. We've got Zard in one, we've got Italian Pikachu in the second, and now we're going on to number three. We've had some really, really good stuff in these guys. Really good stuff. Moment of truth on the Greninja? We did! Can you guys see? This is how you do it. See there's a little swirly. It looks like a fossil from like one of the old Pokemon games. You get that little swirl down there. There's a couple of types you can get. But we did it! We hit us. We hit a swirly Greninja. These are always cool to know. And guys, if you don't know about it, go and fetch your Greninjas out of your ETBs and make sure to check if they have those symbols. You wouldn't want to be selling those along or trading them out, not thinking that they did. You really wouldn't, you know. That's, it's definitely going to add value to them in the longevity. There's your code. Enjoy pulling out more sleeves and the other stuff that's in there. You can go down here for now. So we're gonna separate our packs. And as we did prior, we are going to be doing our regular sets first, starting with battle styles as always, because of just how good a set it is. So good. Onyx, Spiro, Sizzlepeed, Mr. Rhyme Galarian, and a Grandpa non hollow Then we go into our chilling range packs. And the one chilling range pack. What are you guys thinking? The one chilling range pack. Is there going to be something? I'm hoping there's going to be something. Hatrum, Flaffy, Kakuna, Lapras, Blistle, Aaron, Dealing, Delibird. And we hit a fighting secret energy! The one chilling rain pack, guys. The one chilling rain pack. Every time it comes in clutch, it absolutely comes in clutch. It has been fantastic every time I've opened an ETB. It's been either a secret or an alt art or something textured. It's very rare that it hasn't been. It's more likely been a hit than not. And I'd, I'd love to know what's happening in your ETBs, guys, because it's just... It's, it's kind of comical at this point that that keeps happening. Vivid Voltage. Hoping for that chunk of chew. Taylor, Yanma, Wooper, D Dan, Pippi Cake. Oh, Zashian! Instead of the reverse foil, we hit an amazing Ray Zashian. That is really, really nice. 
beautiful card. That can be added to the pile. That is going in the binder. All right, so these, are, again, we've got, we've had some pretty good regular set packs in here. I've been, there's just been some good hits. Please. It's been really nice. Let's see. The first Darkness of Blaze is a Simipor and a Leopard non hollow And then the second will be Hopefully the Zard. Hopefully the Zard. Energy, Dartrix, Sterevia, Shinatec, Qfant, Sinistee, Phoebus, Passimian, Fletchling, Cupshu, and a Rhyperia V. All right. And with that out of the way, we're gonna go into our last stack of celebrations. And just a reminder, if you guys have gotten this far in the video, first of all, thank you, because my content even I find repulsive. But secondly, if you could just hit a like or a sub, it would be greatly appreciated. The more you guys do, the more I can know if what I'm doing is right and I can make more videos because yeah, I haven't done it in a while and Medhurst has pulled my arm into doing this, but you know what? If it's not him and there's more of you guys that are keen on me making these videos continuing on, then I'll keep going, you know? It's, it's fun for me. I really enjoy doing this on the side. It's just sometimes I get really busy, but it's just sometimes I get, sometimes it's really hard because I get busy, but you know, it's, it's such, it's such fun, you know, like I just set up everything today as soon as he said, can you make it? And I was like, sure. So we'll see where this goes and I hope it continues to go well. So there's your code and let's get into this last ETB. We've got a Lugia, Xerneas, Kyogre and a Mew. First pack. Let's keep this going. We'll get this. Nice tempo. Where's it get? Tempo good. Tempo always good. Back to. What do we got here? Goltel. Oh, we got something. Dialga. And another Don fan. And the research behind it. That is very nice. These Don fans are. Beautiful, and you know, we'll take them. We'll take them. Any of these classic cards are just gorgeous for the collection. And as you guys probably know, over on the Carpacorp side as well, we are beginning, well, it's not Carpacorp anymore, it's uh, KC TCG auctions. We've dropped the Yu Gi Oh! and we're now doing all TCGs. Pokemon auctions are welcome, DBS auctions are welcome, Digimon. Magic. I, 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 the reason I don't say magic much is because I know those guys have their own really fantastic auction pages as well. But, you know, we, we want to spread out to the community. Really, really let you guys decide what you want to see on the page. So please, if you, if you want to put some things up, like, you are most certainly welcome. Shoot us a message and we will sort it out. It's a surfing Pikachu. Very nice. Half a dozen of these to go. Hit the cut. Reshiram, Cosmog, and Flying Pikachu. I did that one badly. That was my bad, guys. You could see that from a mile away. You could see all the cards in that pack. I really need to get my hand better for this. Rusty, rusty hands for these YouTube pack openings. We've got the imposter Professor Oak behind Professor's research. Sneaky, sneaky Professor Oak is always there when he's needed. We've, that is a nice card. Well, this is one that I also struggled to pull. I didn't get that many of them. I think this is actually my second. So, you know, when the, the one that's the craziest for me actually is Clay Doll. I've pulled one. I don't know about you guys, but I've pulled one Clay Doll. And they're like, it's just like a $4 card, but it's just been super hard for me to pull. I haven't pulled any since. I'm not complaining. Like, I got the Zard and I've got Umbreon before and things like that, but 
it's just these these pull rates are just completely inconsistent and it's really cool here we go Freshy Ram we hit a Mewtwo and we get a Zacian a very nice pack the Mewtwo is a gorgeous card it was gorgeous back then and they've added some texture to a non-textured card and given it the Mac is sparkle and it really has made this card shine. It looks like it's doing a Kamehameha wave as well on that. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. So we've got four more packs guys. Last four packs. And here we have the code. Let's go. Kyogre, Cosmog, Lugia, and Lunala. Oh, there we go. Reshiram, Kyogre, Groudon, and there's the... I think this is the first one we've pulled. In three ETBs, pulling just one of these is actually quite unlikely, I've found, because I've been... Some have been pulling two, three, four is the most I've pulled in one so far, but it's just... These pull rates have been crazy. These Pikachus have been very highly pulled, I've noticed. Very highly. Spin, route on. And a Cleffa with a flying Pikachu. That is, again, a very nice pack. You got two lovely hits in there. Lovely, lovely hits. I love that you can get these full art Pikachus with another card as well. It just makes those packs extra juicy. E extra juicy. Makes it so nice. And now we're gonna hit the last pack. And we're gonna bless this one. And hopefully we're getting that gold new. I don't think so, but we can't be mad with how good we've had a run today. So let's see what we get. Lugia, Evil Tile, and a Lunala. So that brings up box number three. Chilling Rains, guys. The one Chilling Rains pack has been wild. Just for a recap, we had Professor's Research, God of REX, Charizard, Venusaur, Fat Robert's Pikachu, Tapu Lele, and the Flying Pikachus in box number one. That was the best one. That was fantastic. That was super cool. And we are super stoked to have hit those. We hit so many cards we wanted to do today. Then box two, we had Italiano Pikachu. Seriously, Italian Pikachu. I'll stop, I'll stop saying that. Garchomp, Dompan, Groudon, Donphan, uh, Surfing Pikachus. Honey and the Darmanitan, so that was also a particularly juicy, juicy box. And then the final one, of course, we just did was our Fighting Energy, our Domfan Mewtwo, Impost Professor Oak, Leffer, these Pikachus, and the Zacian Amazing Rare. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure to check out some of my previous videos, and I will be trying to get more out to you in the near future. Peace out.